Hey, ladies, and thank you for joining me for this segment of Alisa on the Mic Podcast with Friends. This is my girl talk session. I am super excited because I got my girls with me. What's up, ladies? Hey. 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 I, this is the segment that I've been waiting the most for because I've already talked to the guys. And after being the only one talking to them, I felt kind of outnumbered. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if the girls got some of the same type of qualms, issues, or if we even know like that men feel the way they do. So we know we're going to do a co-ed, but I wanted to talk to you guys first, just to kind of get your opinion on some things. Um, I know that there is a double standard. I feel like it's a double standard down to what men can get away with, what men can say, how they can act, how they can portray themselves versus us women. So I think I want to start out with um, just asking, do you guys think that um, a lot of us women are single because our standards are too high? Do you think it's because um, there's not enough suitable men? I mean, what are your thoughts on why um, while there's a, a huge population of single women? I think it's some of all of that. I think yeah. <laughs> our standards can be too high sometimes. Um, but at the same time, they're realistic. So I think we've been trained to think that our standards are too high when realistically everybody should have some type of standard, men or women. Um, but there's something that's always in the back of men's head, I feel like, where they feel like women are always expecting more, and that's not necessarily the case for all women. Some women do, but not all do. Um, but I do think we don't have as many options sometimes. Yeah, and I don't think it's a, our standards are too high necessarily because our standards can be right for the right person. You know what I mean? Sometimes right. some people can't reach that standard, and that's okay. You know what I mean? But there is a shortage of men, like, you know, and we are in Atlanta, so let's be real. <laughs> We're outnumbered. Well, I, I just believe that women can be fickle. Women, think can, women be fickle. can be fickle. Yes, they, they they may want this one day, and I'm speaking for me. Um, I used to want relationships in my past, but now I've got to the point where I want to date. I don't. I don't want you to tie me down because I'm gonna change my mind in a week or two and be like, okay, I want to talk to him now. You know, I don't. I just think that we're we can be a lot of women can be fickle, and as far as the standards, I'm not gonna require anything that I don't have or I can't give. Mm-hmm. So um, if yeah. a guy can't give me what I have or more. Like, it'll be fun to date and play around with him when things start getting, that you feel like you're serious or you're taking serious. You're going to be like, okay, he's he not going to be able to do this for me. So we're going to mm-hmm. cut that off. Mm-hmm. And, and it's hard because guys play games. It ain't all about the standards. They'll tell you, they'll tell you, look, um, what you looking for? You know, what you looking for in a man? Right. <laughs> That's why I don't, even, I, don't even tell him, I don't even tell him no more. Yep. You pretend to be that guy? No, because once I'm just going to let you do you. And when I see something that I don't like, Oh, baby, let's. T- I'm gonna tell you about it, and then if you don't do anything about it, or that's something that you probably can't change, I'm mm-hmm. not gonna deal with it. So I agree 100% with that. Let them be who they are. Let their natural um, being come out, and that way you can see exactly who they are. Mm-hmm. But to answer the question, I believe that there's a there's a number of reasons of why we're single. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes we do have too high standards, um, but like Kayla said, you know, it's not necessarily too high. It could be right for that right person. So then why do we settle then? Yeah. A lot of times, a lot of times we settle then. You know what I mean? Our yes. standards are there. There are things that we want, but then we settle and then we're mad at them for not being able to be what we wanted them to be. And it just right. ends up being a mess. Because right. mm-hmm. we don't Correct. Say it again, yep. Mimi. I say because we place those expectations on them and we expect for people to live up to our expectations when they, for one, never said that they could or were willing to. And that could be. That's a, true. Yeah. That yeah. Could be a problem we do that a lot as women. We do that. Yeah, exactly. We yes, we do that a lot. We do have expectation and tends to push them in a way. So is it expectation or do you think we buy into the potential? Buy into the potential. Oh, that they don't both. live up to. They don't I live think up it's to the potential. The potential gives us the expectation. You know, you yes. find the potential, you have an expectation of it to be something else. And so mm-hmm. yeah. men are like tunnel vision and they're like, we're friends right now. You've already jumped ahead. And it's like everything 
we have an expectation of things being more than what it is. Whereas yes. if we were to lose the expectation of people in general, we would have a lot more relationships in our yes. lives. You know yes. I mean? yes. 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 Yep. I don't know. That got to be on a per person basis. I'm sorry. Like, for real, I just feel like I don't necessarily have more expectations out of a male I want to talk to than what I would have out of my friends. Mm -hmm. I, I was just going to say that. That's about the same amount of things out of the man I would talk to in my friendship. Now, I do know some things I want more out of the man I'm talking to, but at the same time, I'm willing to somewhat bend it just a little bit. Now, some things you can not bend on, but I don't think some things you need to be unrealistic about but i feel like we're a little bit more patient with our friends and our men so we definitely it, are yes i think so i think, <laughs> I think so too. I said no I mean, yeah. yeah it's a different dynamic that you have that you have with your man versus your friend right. Right. you know when it comes to your man you're like all in all these emotions all these feelings mm -hmm. so and you gonna put up with all his crap and all that stuff you do right. Them. We're more. And if your friend do that, now tell the truth. If your girlfriend do that, you gonna be ready. You talking about right? But you talking about that whole ass say deuces. I'm right. Right. <laughs> right. But I think let him go. <laughs> I think sometimes we do that. Y'all said earlier. Somebody said I can't remember who said it. There was a shortage of men. And if there's a shortage, that's probably why we settle. Yeah, because it's it's almost like we settle for a piece of a man, a whole man. Right, kind of leads me to my next question. When talking to the guys, it was more of a situation where they can't do what us women won't allow, right? So uh -huh. if, if we know that they're married and we know that they're in relationships, why is it so easy for us to still date them and still be with them and still be that you know with with, with what's the singer says talk, talk, talking about on the weekend? Like you know what I'm saying? Why do we do that? Because women are competitive and they think that it's the truth. No, you can't. Compete. That, no, you, can't. Can. you can't. But they think that a lot of women feel like, all right, if I can say that, oh, I took her man or yes, you're right, you mean. but he's still sleeping with me. Like a, a lot of women feed off of that whole Aaliyah, if your girl only knew type thing. Yeah, that sucks. I it's agree. Like, I agree. Really? I agree. Yes, yes they they very, very they like bragging rights. Yeah. Yeah. But not, yes. not all women, but a lot of women do get a kick out of just like men like the chase, women like the chase too. Mm -hmm. It is fun for them, like, oh, I can take him from his wife. I can take him from his girlfriend. If I do this, this, and that, watch. So then so I would have to ask, what is the goal for that person? Uh, because yeah. I, I wouldn't people. think that if yeah, because the, at the end of the day, if you took him from his wife, the end goal couldn't be to be with him. But right. if he did it for her, he gonna do it. So do it. And I don't think it gets to that point. I don't think it gets to that point until the woman has actually fell for his stories. I mean, mm -hmm. I women, are, most women, most women who are in those situations are, are were already in it with him before he's like, or before yep. they find out. I mean, yep. more, more so nine times out of ten, there are relationships where they're like, the girl does know she's a side mm -hmm. chick, whatever, whatever. She don't care. She want her bills paid, and it's what it right. is. But there also there are those girls who those guys chase after, and those women never knew about the other yeah. woman. And then they're, they're, they get the label because it's like, I never, I was sold, a, I was sold a whole story, the dream, the car. I was sold that. So I fell in love with but that. But my thing, my you thing is when you're, else, what am oh, I going to do? When you're sold that dream though, you know, not judging anybody, mm -hmm. but when you're sold that dream, and I understand sometimes your feelings are attached and you're emotional and all that stuff. What do you do to get out of that situation? Because right. me personally, I don't want nobody else's man. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want that. Right. To me, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even feel right doing that to somebody. And so, it, it is a difference when yeah. you don't know. It's a difference yeah. when you don't know. But when you know and you're trying to get some bragging rights, like ooh, 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 right. I don't like her. So let me mm -hmm. get her. Let me get her man. Like that's that's not good. That's not nothing to brag about. And I think right. it's something inside that particular woman mm -hmm. that's not right. No matter. I don't know right. what it that's is, right. but it's something inside of her that's mm -hmm. making her do this because. Like Elisa said, the men agree, women do what you allow. And the women, like not every woman, but I'm just I'm just saying women in general. Um, a woman, okay, a guy talk to a woman. A woman can say no. True. But you have some women that are like, Oh, you just pay my bills. Why can't you pay your own bills, sister? 
Why can't you pay your own bills? Why you need him to do it? Or if you're single. I know the pick is a slim, but it's a lot of single men. Why you got to get somebody else, man? I, I just don't get, I, I don't, I don't get down with that. And, but I but think, is I think, it that the pickings are slim or is it that women want who's popular? Like, right. And I was just thinking that women put a lot of people in the friend zone and then come back and be like, oh, damn, you might be the one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Or somebody else wants you. So why, why, why am I turning you down? They right, want right, that right. Oh, so, so, you know, when they see that the other woman is taking care of, the grass is greener over there. She looks like she's well kept. She's, mm-hmm. you know, she's happy. I want to be her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they, they fall for that. You know what I'm saying? And that's just from the relationship aspect of just accepting what men take from you. Now, what if you're in the relationship and you're accepting what they're taking from, you know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting beat by him or I'm allowing him to cuss me out. He, he, we are allowing them to do that. You continue to allow him to repeat that cycle and then you want you want more so it's kind of like it is it is on us as well because we do hold all the cards we hold a lot of the cards that's, and that's what I think I kind of I'm going to segue that into my next question it's even for those of us who have the kids or um I know in talking to the guys a big situation was like child support once they have kids with with the woman and then they separate and then the the mother rapes them over the coals with child support you know what i mean why do i don't know if um you guys have done it particularly or if you know people who other women who have done it Mm -hmm. but what's the reason for um not only taking them downtown and raking them through the coals if they're trying to be active in their kids lives or what's the reason that you hold the kids from them you know what i mean if they can't pay child support and and the, the 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 other question is why can't the co-parenting be done without the court? Right. I agree. Why can't it be done? I think That's it depends on the people. If if they are two mature individuals, right. it, can it can be, be done. done it can court. be done. If they're two um, sensible people, it can be done. Yeah. Um, but as far as child support, you know, some men. Um, just don't want to pay. And, and and I'm not going to say don't want to pay, but some men do not want to help. Yeah. Support their child or kids. Yeah. Yep. So but that, some women, that would be the, let's just be real. Some women are bitter. They're bitter. True. Yeah. Very true. They're bitter. They're jealous. Yep. They're like, oh, he with her now. Oh, I'm going to go take him. I'm drag him and all mm-hmm. this and that. Yeah, they do you that. Have some women like that. You do. See, but I don't think, see, like for my situation, it wasn't no bitterness. It's not no, oh, I can't, I no, it's none of that. But at the end of the day, if I'm the sole custody parent and I'm taking care of your child more than you're taking care of your child, then you should help pay for that child. Yeah. I didn't get myself yeah, pregnant. Yeah. I didn't push that child yeah. out and I got myself pregnant. I'm taking care of 100% of myself. That's not fair to me or her. You know what I'm saying? Because if mm-hmm. I'm struggling, and guess what? She's struggling. You know what I'm saying? But you so live you your think, best life. That, so do you think it's fair for them to make $800 and they're left with 140 no, that I don't think that's that, that, that ain't the woman. That's the legal yeah. system. I don't think, yeah, I don't think, I, I don't think that ever happens for a situation unless you're just back on child support. Oh, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. I mean, it has, you don't have to be up. back child support. It happens. Yeah, I'm yes, saying it does. But, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It's not the woman's fault. Who, like she said, that are bitter, that are raping them. But that's also the court's fault, too. You shouldn't be leaving a man with nothing. You know what I'm saying? He's oh, not they don't care. Himself. They don't so care. That's the court because the court can't sit here. It's not like she said, you have to pay this. The court said that. So right. that's something that I don't feel like is, oh, the woman is at fault for that. Right. That's something that is our legal system's fault. Our legal Basically. system has always been really messed up when it comes to that. That's why, like, even for someone like me, I'm hes- I was hesitant to do it. I was mm-hmm. hesitant to be like, mm, I don't want to put them on child support because if this happens, then this happens. But at the same time, what do I look like where I'm struggling but you're able to take care of yourself. You're able to live, you know, you go out, you can buy this. You're buying you all these fancy things, you buying the latest iPhones and money. Now you're doing it willingly as a man. If you're coming willingly and you're saying, I'm giving this, you know, monthly or whatever or weekly, then I don't feel like the as the woman, she should get the court involved. No. 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 Nope. 
if he can step up and be a man and help out for school clothes, summer clothes, or whatever, you know what I mean? I'm not asking for your whole check. I don't want your whole check. I don't even want half of your check. But give me something. Show me that you can be responsible enough to give me something. You know? Yeah. You know what I don't like, too, about the child support thing or about anyway when it comes to supporting the kid? Um, I'm thankful that I don't have these problems. Not Nothing against people that do, but um, I, I just feel like a guy that tells, like if a guy was to tell me I had his children or kid and he tell me, I'm trying, I'm trying. Well, are you really trying? Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't want, like that right there that would boil my blood to hear a guy tell me, my child's father tell me, all the I'm time. trying. They you know, I really all all the time. Well, really if you're trying, and you're failing. You ain't trying I need you to be doing because if you're trying and do it, you ain't doing nothing. So if that case, you you can piss a woman off like that and she doesn't uh, support to get that money. But, that, but I think that's, that's what it is. The issue with is, Lisa, uh-huh. just the inconsistencies because I'm even a product of someone ducking and dodging and saying they trying all the time. And I used to think when I was young, my mother was bitter as heck trying to get money, but it's rightfully altered her. You know what I'm saying? Yes put kids through college and bought us cars and stuff like that. It's rightful for her to have a piece of something for that. So I mm-hmm. that she but it's mainly just that's just what you do when you're a parent, when you bring somebody into this world, father or mother. Period. Mm-hmm. That's right. A lot of women there become women because of the inconsistencies from mm-hmm. the uh-huh. I, I was about to play that. that I've been around, not even just my mother. It seemed like they become bitter because of the inconsistencies from the man. He's saying, we're trying. Or mm-hmm. We're going to do that. Don't do, show me. With yes. Us, and then I believe you. I was about to play devil's advocate with that and say that it's not only men because I have a friend right. now who has sole custody of both of his children because his yeah. wife is trying. Right. Yeah. I was just wondering, like, the women, she, there are women. She's failing. Child and support. she's trifling. There are women. I mean, there are women on child support. There are women who yes. have child support. Women are not the only ones. So I don't right. know, I worked where I was collecting child support and there was women calling paying child support. Like so it's not just men that feel that same pain. So right. you know, where men feel like, well, we always get child support, women get it too. Women there's, get it too. There's, women, there's rich women who make more than men who are paying alimony and child support. You know yeah. what I mean? So let's not get it twisted. There's women in it too. Yeah. So do y'all do y'all think that having children makes it harder to date? Or do you think you would date uh, someone who has children? I would date somebody who has, actually, because I have children, I would mm-hmm. only date people who have children. I, I wouldn't want to date. You don't want to have any more? Um, not only that, but yes, because I don't want to have any more. But also, he would understand the mm-hmm. life of a parent. You know, someone who doesn't have any kids, and they come over to my house, and I got three boys, and they playing basketball in the house, they running up and down the steps. Somebody who don't have children gonna be looking like what is going on? You know, mm-hmm. they wouldn't they wouldn't understand parenting. I so said I'm, that I would never date person. someone that has a child or children until I actually got into the position where I was dating someone that had a child. But seeing how he is with his child's mother, it kind of like calmed every anxiety that I had about dating somebody with children. Because a lot of the times you see the bitter baby mama, you see mm-hmm. the bitter baby daddy. And I always said that I never want to be mixed up with, with that. Yep. a battle between you. I don't ever want it to be a time where you have to choose between me and your child's mother. And a lot of the times that's the case. Mm-hmm. Well, he can choose. He can choose you over the child's mother, just not over the child. It's a difference. It's a difference. It's a big difference. Do the money know what's the difference? <laughs> do it right because I, I feel like <laughs> you know I I didn't have kids coming into my marriage, and I said I wasn't ever going to date anybody that had kids. And so being, I'm like Mimi, being with somebody and seeing how you know the no drama thing is what did it for me. But yeah. I won't come second to the kid i won't and you shouldn't because you're his wife there's no way you it's know different yes yeah, yeah you're his wife like you're not his girlfriend all the grace. that's why i'm looking at tiffany like wait a minute because if i, I you're not a girlfriend you're a wife kid. okay i got it i got it i, I just misunderstood yes. because i'm like wait a yes. minute hold, hold. Yeah, no no that's what that's fine but, but even if i'm a wife a relationship but even yeah. even even in being in a relationship though and being single and just dating I think at what point does that shift? 
Right. Because I couldn't have never, I, I can't even in my mind think of the moment that it shifted. Does that make sense? But I would yeah. have been with him if I had to compete with his kids. Because that's a testament. If that makes to sense. Who, yeah, that's a testament to who your husband is. He made it, he made that shift so seeming so seamless exactly. that it was a oh dang, I come before them now. Because he doesn't make them feel like, okay, I'm choosing one over the other. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. So do you think it's our job to kind of show them? that we can put the kids first as well so that he's okay putting us? You know, you think that that makes the transition a little bit easier? It does. Before I had my child, I I couldn't even see myself dating a guy with kids. I tried it, didn't like it, was like, "Mm, not for me, just was uncomfortable. Like, you know, like Javon said, you know, you don't, you you don't understand. You're you're like, you understand to a point like, okay, these are kids, but it's more of an uncomfortable thing because it's like, it's not my child. It's not my family member's child. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's not like I can just sit here and just try to get comfortable with somebody else's kid. And one, I'm I'm still young. So it's like, I'm still trying to have fun. You sitting here playing dad. I'm like, I'm trying to. (laughs) Those are the reservations. I I can't do that. You know, we got a kid around. So I'm like, I couldn't do that. But then I had my child and I realized like, wow, it's like, as a parent, it's hard to really manage dating with people. Yes, it is. It's really hard to manage, especially when you have younger children. You know what I'm saying? It's different when you have older kids because they're like, they ain't nowhere to be found anyway. So it's mm-hmm. really they can get out. But it's, it's, hard. Kids, they're, you know, so it's, a lot. it's hard for me to date. It's hard because it's like you 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 get to you get to know people and they're auto and the guys automatically, oh, when I'm gonna come pick you up or when I'm gonna come to your house, you're not coming to my house. You, and, and they say, oh, you must got a dude. You must got a new. No, sweetie. I have girls. I have young ladies over here. You can't just come around me. Let's get to know each other away from my house. You don't have to come to my house. And they get mad. Okay, and I'm so just like, bye. Yeah, bye. Ooh, I don't like that. And they got me about dating somebody with a child was that I was so scared that she wasn't going to like me. But once I got to the point where it's like, okay, it should be effortless. If she likes yeah. me, she likes me. If she doesn't, she doesn't. Once I got to that point, that little girl loved me. Mm-hmm. I love her. Like, I treat her like she is my child. But it's not because I'm doing it because I felt like I had to or anything like that. Yeah. Our relationship was just yeah. effortless. Yeah. It wasn't like I had to impress her or do anything like that. Mm-hmm. Because like, it was sincere. Yeah, it was sincere. It has to happen, has, has to happen organically. And it all. has to. Because kids can tell when you put yeah. it on. They can tell. Uh-huh. They can tell that kind of stuff. So my next question, I guess, will be, we already made it very clear that we ain't bringing nobody to the house because Tiffany said we ain't doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you get rid of the kids. And, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Would you guys ever consider dating outside of our race? Or have you guys? Oh, yeah. I have. Yeah. I wouldn't do it again. I have, but I wouldn't do it again. Why I'm, I'm with you, you Mimi. Me. I have, and I'm not doing it again. I'm sorry. I, I, I love you. Help me. me, please. Why? Yeah. 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 I don't I'm know, know if it was please because help. of like my age at the time, but going into my freshman year in college, I was 17, 18. I started dating a guy that I was really good friends with. He was Caucasian. And we had a good time together. He took me to. I can't remember if it was like a family cookout or something like that, but he took me around his family. Me and and his mom had always gotten along. So, you know, that was cool. He introduced me to his grandmother and this little old sweet looking lady was like, you are the prettiest little black girl I have ever seen. I knew it. In my head, all I heard was, you such a cute nigga. And I'm just like, (laughs) fight me. (laughs) Fight me. I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's what I heard. And she didn't say that. Like, she legit just said, you're the prettiest little black girl I've ever heard. But in my head, I heard nigga, and I heard the black girls are ugly. And I just felt like, for the sake of my ancestors, I had to fight her. <laughs> so I, like, I told him, don't don't bring me around your family no more. Like, it was, it was the, yeah. it was the yeah. pink, it was the pink wing wing for me. I saw it, and I was like. But see, he I'm and I had made it to the about that. I'm I can't always do it. wondered about that. See, I, I don't know all of them are like that, so I'm confused. Yeah. Are they not? No, he, he and I had never made 
made it. We never made it to that one, point. I never even one seen made it. it. One made one ruined it for everybody. I'm sorry. I don't want to see no people. <laughs> I, I don't want to see it. Mm-mm. But I can't. White, white and pink. <laughs> white and pink. No. Does it look like raw meat like everybody say it is? <laughs> uh, girl, I don't listen. White and pink. That's all I saw. And I was like, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. My mouth's not going on it. Well, let nothing, me let nothing. me clear that up because now I've dated, I've dated a white guy, and it it, it wasn't it it wasn't what you were experiencing. <laughs> you know, like I have to bring it back a little bit because it. I mean, I think for me, the the hardest thing was just getting past what Mimi was saying not knowing you know when you're around somebody who's really welcoming and open and they're they're very down to earth and it it eases those anxieties Mm -hmm. and and it's okay when it's just you and that person you know what I mean but when you start to branch out and go because like my grandfather was like don't you ever bring somebody right home but see he picked cotton in Alabama Right. You know what I'm saying? So his experiences kind of cultivated how, you know what I'm saying? So it was kind of shortly, I don't even think I was able to give it a chance because I had that in my mind. Like, they did it for me. You and know I what I'm saying? Like, I my family. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be easy because I have white family members. Like, <laughs> my father is me. So I'm like, okay, cool. It's different. Nah. It's different. And I, because I have a lot of, I have a lot of white friends as well. And they're cool, but I think sometimes, and I'll probably have to, ha- I'm, I'm probably going to interview some of my white friends and things like that so that we can see what it is from their perspective. Because mm-hmm. from ours, it's okay as long as you're friends. That's cool. Yes. Yes. That. yes. You know what I'm saying? But is it okay if our mother is a daughter? Is it okay <laughs> if, you know what I'm saying? So you just don't, I, I don't know. I guess for me, it wasn't the penis that, that was the problem. It was more of the, how are they going to receive me? How are they going to look mm-hmm. at, at my skin color? How are, you know what I mean? And then when somebody has to brief you by saying, my family's a little old fashioned. Oh, you start yes. saying stuff like you yeah. already know. Yeah. Yep. Let's Let's say, say, yep. It's a no for me. Yeah. Yes, yep. no. Yes. Yes. No. Um, y'all ain't live my life. Y'all won't live my life. And yet it just, there's no, for me, not even just even even with black people, you know what I'm saying. Not even just I'm I'm the type of person who has to be around people who who understand where I come from and where yes, I'm going. Yes, yes. You know I don't feel like people, white people specifically, understand where black people are coming from and where they're going. You know what yep. I mean. And so, therefore, there's nothing there. There's no relationship that's going to happen. I feel like it would be a, a constant debate. It, it would be a constant argument. And I don't want to sit there and always say no offense. I don't want a relationship that's a no offense relationship. Like, okay. mm-hmm. right. Yeah, or you have to prep me like, okay, listen. <laughs> Damn, <I'm good. laughs> and then their bedroom talk is different. Like, like i just don't want to hear you say cock that makes my skin crawl <laughs> like don't say that um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? the bottom row <laughs> oh, the bottom row is is going to hell in a handbag <laughs> okay the whole bottom row is going to hell. <laughs> Even the way the slut, it's, the slut is gonna be different. It's gonna be like, oh, you little slut. When the, the, other, the other guy do it, slut, you slut, you slut. It's different. It's different. Yo, I know. I can't. Wait, like, no, I'm gonna draw. Oh, like, no, I'm gonna draw. We gotta do this. I want to know who's being called a slut. Tiffany, what you be doing? <laughs> okay, so I you know how you say it. It, it depends on how you say it. I, I like to be called a slut on occasion. Yeah. Oh, I mean, slut. I mean, but Christmas, Chris, like, like, I know, like, okay, <laughs> just like turn you out, like, yes, call me a little dirty bitch. But, yes. Okay, but that's that's like, that's <laughs> and then, yeah. 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 Ye
Yes. You're not that offensive. What's not that offensive? Being called a slut. It's not it's that not. offensive. No, what I'm what I'm saying is it was just the the, the fervor and aggressive. <laughs> 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 white man kind of so no so since we're talking about this this is going to help me with my next my next question right yeah so sexually i feel like there's a double standard Mm -hmm. i feel like men can come out and be like oh yeah this is how i like it always this Mm -hmm. is what they can do all of that but the moment that we're openly expressive about our sexuality and what we want and what we need it appears that we are looked at like we're thoughts you know what I mean all those things do y'all feel like that is the case for you do you feel like you shy away from your sexuality because of, of the perception of how you can be viewed or do you feel like you really don't much care and can get it as good as any other guy I think Me. it depends on who your partner is you have to be comfortable <laughs> enough with your partner to open yourself up sexually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But do you now everybody ain't gonna get the freaky dick. Now everybody's just not gonna no. get it. So how do we decide who gets it? How do we decide? Uh, it depends on your um, chemistry. It's yeah. a it depends on your it's chemistry. You know what I mean? How how it's going and and how you react to him, how his body reacts to you, mm-hmm. and it, it just it just comes out. I the feel size like matter if you have that. Second, you said does, does what matter? The size matter. <laughs> To me, I mean, to a certain degree. Yeah, like I don't want, I don't want like twelve or thirteen inches, but I also don't want two inches. I don't yeah. want it to be. Yes. Nobody, I want no horse, man. Nobody, I want no horse. Yeah, nobody yeah. wants yeah. that yeah. stripped out of them. But you know, you also want to feel it too. So, <laughs> it to be a balance. Does that, have to, does that have to do with the girth or the length? Both. I mean, shoot, if you got some girth, you know what I'm saying? Your I think that if you know what you do, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you know what you do, if you know what you're doing, it yeah. shouldn't matter. Yeah, it really shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? You get the right positions and it'd be a little different. So right, because I got a little booty, but I can do some shit with it. But but do you feel like so so sexually is are there a no hold bars? Do y'all feel like there are things that you won't do that you're not willing to do? What if you're significant other has a high freak meter do you meet that freak meter or do you feel like okay i don't want to give this to them and then they leave me then i'm gonna feel all low like how do you You feel about i think you really just have to vibe with the right person the right sexual chemistry with somebody and say they are more sexual and they want to have sex often you might just end up reaching there. You know what I'm saying? There might be times where you might be in one relationship and they just not making you want to get there. But then you have another one where you might want to just be like, I'm at it. Like, I just want to jump him every time I see him. Like, you know, yes. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. I think it really just depends Man. on what the chemistry is with that person. Because uh, you're not going to hold back from that person sexually if, you, if you're all the way in it. If you're all the way in it. If you say not holding back, that means anything goes. It can. Anything goes, you know. We do, we should probably discuss it first. Yes, Anything yeah. is open for discussion. We should yes, discuss yeah. it first, but... Everything. Anything yes, is, you know. Everything. Right, you know, ain't nothing, you know. Everything. Because, listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Like, I have never, like, and I mean this, I haven't ever met a guy more sexual than me. He's been at my level or under or not enough. Yeah, see how she, yeah. it she mean Ever. it. Really yeah, I even I even had men to be like, you just like a dude. Man, shut up and come on. Stop harassing men. You need to talk. So then, like seriously, like that's I mean, because go ahead, go ahead. Uh-huh, go I was just gonna say that's because guys do too much talking about what they're gonna do. Yes. Yes. They yeah. do all this talking about what they're gonna do, but when you get in the bedroom, it's like, what's 
What's all that shit you was talking? And what's crazy is the guys, the guys, the guys feel here? like the women do the same thing. That was their biggest hang up. They was like, you do. know, they do all this talking and then you get in the bed and it's like, okay, cricket. That's why I don't talk. I don't, I don't talk. Me either. Pretty much. <laughs> And I see, I, I had to learn that because I, I did talk some deep, tough shit and then got in there and was like, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 I didn't know what to do with this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm talking about what you play. I think that we struggle collectively as women with mm-hmm. not being comfortable with our sexuality. I've done several of these these moves. And I found that we just collectively are not comfortable with not even just the skin that we're in, but just the freedom to say, I like this, you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or I like that. Like women aren't as open. Like I find that men don't care what they say. Mm -hmm. They're never looked at any other way than being macho. Mm -hmm. So you you go get it. However many men you want to get. How many, one guy was saying how, you know, men, men pretty much have sex like they go to the bathroom in peace. It's, they can't even remember half the people they've been with. Women aren't like that. We're a little bit yeah. more emotional. So it's... So I remember, know. but you know, it's probably been a lot, but I remember them. <laughs> <laughs> For me, not for Tiffany. I'm about to mute her whole lot. No. <laughs> but no, but it, it's interesting to talk with you guys because I wanted, I want women to feel like we matter. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We matter. What we want sexually matters. Like, I didn't even realize that there was a law about spousal rape. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, there's so many things that, you know, men, because sex is so high on the totem pole. Uh-huh. And I feel like, I'm like you, Tiffany. I feel like I have a high sex drive. Like, I feel like I do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even though I know that, there's still things that I'm just not comfortable with even thinking about doing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, because but sometimes... Like sometimes the guy, the guy will be like, you said like what? Like, like what? Like anal for starters. Okay. I, I can't put it I, in it anyway, so let's just scratch that. What's he what's like? you, I said, what's I think stuff is supposed to come out your butt and not in it anyway, so let's no, just. No, it's not that bad. So no, what I'm saying is, is so again, when you say so you know, like, when you say you got a high freak meter and you say that you, you're willing to do anything, you have to think anal as well. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's included, girl. That's included. That's, that's all of the above. Included. That's because all of the above. Because I just think how scared, like, my anal's included. Should. So you have limits. You're, you're not all you have, you have limits. You have limits. I have limits. That's and I mean, so I have a question for Tiffany. Like, maybe. Because you said you have a high freak meter. Would you let your person, your partner, see your like porn hook searches oh yeah we could watch them together watch it together and i mean i asked that yeah. because they say that you you tell a lot about a person about what type of porn they watch yeah watch my porn we could watch I know it. Right. <laughs> Find something. all ebony yeah. and see so again we asked the question about porn like do you feel like porn gives you an unrealistic expectation of sex yes can yeah it does. It yeah. Does. yeah because our videos look better than what they do i will look like that exactly. <laughs> especially you watch like white porn because they like stuff like fisting and stuff and you're not finna stick your fist up me like right so it gives that no, yeah, there is no universe where you can stick your fist anywhere <laughs> <laughs> we just that pause we just because that. i'm trying to find out where the fist is going Right, it goes up your whatever hole they feel like it's good. Right. Like they just like, literally yeah. like they might get through. They might get through this. No, 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 I'm trying to get the visual because I'm thinking like at least a clutch of her pearls. I am too, like <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I mean, and I guess for me, for real, like that that's what I mean. It's just taking it to a whole nother level. Yeah. Because how can you even find me attractive if the, if the only way you can kind of please me or you can please yourself is to stick your whole fit? I don't even know a man. Like, 
Like that's insanity. I've never mm-hmm. heard of such. I've never seen. I've never heard of such. That goes back to your <laughs> question. Why do you see a false expectation of sex? <laughs> That what goes back to your Watching porn gives a false expectation of sex. Yeah. Because that's, you know, they're they're getting paid to do this for one, right. a lot of money to get a fist mm-hmm. put up in you. So I'm not getting paid. Right. <laughs> You're scared <laughs> before that. Like, I mean, I don't see the pleasure. Do you understand how long that would take for you to have to like bring lose. Up, like lose. <laughs> I mean lose? I said it's not a lot of lose. It's well, you know, babies are much bigger. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! That, that could be it too, though. That could be it as well. But your I'm body, gonna... like, makes way for the baby to come down. Your body ain't. Your body is expecting a baby to come down. Your body ain't expecting not something to no fit. It's not expecting. It's not expecting. It's not expecting. any walls down there, so they might be able to stick their fist through. Like. It's like throwing a hot dog down the hallway, though. Like, like how do you get a regular check after that? <laughs> and see, I thought I was learning a lot from the guys. Yeah, I'm feeling a little square. With the <laughs> so, so again, there, the Kayla, we 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 realize you you and I both have limitations. Anybody anybody else got limitations? No, everything is negotiable. We can talk about it. Everything is negotiable, but that doesn't mean that everything is going with to your mate And he said this is a deal breaker. Oh, would you? Would you do well, yes, yes. Nah. Nothing in my booty, and we're good. <laughs> and, and, that, and that's another thing, too. Just because a person, like, I'm going to say, I'm going to use me, because I'm speaking for myself. Just because I, I feel like I don't have a limit, that doesn't mean that everybody I've been with um, gets to experience it. Everything. Um, so that goes to you have to fill out your partner, too. Mm-hmm. And there, there has been case, case you have to fill out your partner and be like, okay, they, they may not be on this, but Mm, is it okay for me to ask him? But yeah, it's okay for me to ask him. You're just going to take it or you're not. So um, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to say, look, um, is I want you to do X, Y, and Z to me. Is that okay? Or can you do that? You know? And even still with having a discussion about it, it's some stuff that we've had a discussion about that I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But then we get in the actual act of having sex and it's just like, hmm, let go. It might not be that bad. Let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I, can, I, can, I can definitely, definitely relate to that. I think as time has progressed, because we know there's nothing new under the sun. We didn't invent oral sex. We didn't invent none mm-hmm. of this stuff. All this yeah. stuff has been there, but I can remember being in high school and I don't recall hearing anybody talk about no. your oral sex like that. I mean, I knew that it was happening, but it was very vague. It you know what I mean? Yeah. You were a hoe if you were doing so it. Taboo. Yes. I mean, I you are the big hoes. Huh? I said you and, were. And high school, only hoes did it. Like, we, yes, yeah. we thought it was nasty. And yeah. I graduated in yeah. 2000. You know what I'm saying? So now we progress. That ain't nothing. Now everybody yeah, like everybody oh, got to do it. If you ain't with it. Everybody got the go go three thousand. <laughs> That's the progress. You know what I'm saying? But now we've moved on to groceries. You know yeah. what I mean? We, we we've done that. That's not even uh, and and that kind of I'm on the fence with that. But that's something. To- <laughs> I'm on the fence there too. <laughs> Um, but there's a lot of things that I'm willing to receive that I'm not willing to do. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I, maybe I, I could be considered a little selfish in that regard. I mean, my husband yeah. is fine, but I, I think it's it's very frustrating when I look at okay, so in twenty in a twenty year time time frame, all the things that even my kids I have to kind of block them from even being able to see like on YouTube or because there's so many different sit. They know they probably mm-hmm. know more. They act for it. But they probably they know, know a lot more. You know, about sex they do. They they do. Do. you know what I'm saying at their age. So mm-hmm. I'm wondering for you guys, especially the ones that have girls, what would you tell your daughters? You know, all of us on here got high freak meters, obviously. But what would you tell your daughters in dealing with? Don't even get me started. I know, you're lit, so I know your freak meter got to be somewhere. But um, but what would you tell your daughters? Like, how do you tell them to? react and respond in relationships you know what i'm saying like would you tell them stay away from these type of dudes would you tell them to be open with their sexualities or is it something that is just like i like it but i want my girls to be different no i just i i I tell her that now i say be you and whatever's comfortable comfortable for you then you go with that if you're ever in a situation where you're not comfortable don't don't be pressured if a guy tell you okay i'm not gonna be with you if you don't do x y and z 
If you're not comfortable with that, then don't do it. But whatever you do, be protected. Mm-hmm. So you have that cautious. Like that's you that's, that's it. Yeah, would, that's I, it. Yes, to, that's to it. Piggyback off of what Tiff said, I would say the same thing, um, but just be responsible. I yes. think um, it, it as women as women, it's more it's more appropriate to be responsible and be mm-hmm. open and free with yourself. You know, right. I mean? you don't want to limit yourself and not really know who you are, what you want, right. and go crazy and then end up with who who knows what, you know what I'm saying? But if you yes. can be responsible, then I feel like, you know, you exploring what you want to do or who you are is not a problem. It's the responsibility yeah. part. I think you get that label as a as a whole or whatever when you're not being responsible, you're not being mm-hmm. careful, you know, you're sending new videos with your pic with your face in it to 12 yeah. different dudes. Like you just put your face in it. Like, I mean, right. you can't deny it's you now, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you're gonna do stupid stuff, be responsibly stupid, you know. Right. Responsibly stupid. Yes. Yes. Responsibly stupid. I have yes. not never ever heard of responsibly stupid, Kayla. Yes. Yes. Kayla. I'm a real yes. yes. <laughs> At what age do you have that talk? Like, because y'all have daughters. At what age do you have that talk with them? Because when I was in high school, I had friends that lost their virginity at 13, 14, whereas I was. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're having. Damn near 18 when, when I lost mine. They're so, like, at what age do you have that conversation? Nine. Nine. I think as soon as you can. I mean, because at, at the point, and you know, as a parent, that that's where you come in and you have to be very involved. Sure. If you know what your child is doing, where they're going, you should know what they're up to, what kind mm-hmm. of things are happening around them. You should know, okay, her her friend, her friends are all off their period. They're talking about sex. I need to jump in there and start talking to her first. So yeah. mm-hmm. that's where it comes in. You just kind of just got to play it by ear because as a mother, you are your daughter's first friend. So you got to kind of be there to kind of be the person she talks to. You know, I, especially with my daughter, her still being young, you know, I, I think about that every day as she gets older. Like, okay, when she hits these ages, how am I going to handle this? Mm-hmm. I know yeah. she's going to handle I, I, I mean, I started, I started getting real. Oh, go ahead. Oh. I see. I started getting real with her at 16. But I, she been knew about the birds and the bees. Like, about you say. know, she been knew about that. And she knew about <laughs> good touch, touch, bad touch. Like, you heard me? Good touch, bad touch. Both of them. Yeah, they know. My daughter, like, the same way. We, every year, we progressively get deeper and deeper. Yes. And, deeper. and this has been going on since she was four, simply because sex, sex, and inappropriate touching, molestation. A lot of that stuff happens when you're three, four, five, six. Mm-hmm. So maybe you're not telling them about you know condoms and things at three, mm-hmm. four, five, six. But you definitely got to start talking about okay. Is this a good touch, bad touch? Nobody's mm-hmm. touching you here. If if it's not the doctor, if it's not, you know what I mean? And even with them, it's like all adults, they get 50% of your, your you know, you're respecting your trust. They got to earn the other 50. Mm-hmm. You, know, you have to be able to tell them those things because otherwise, when we were growing up, we were taught you respect your elders. The adults yep. are always right most of the times. And now mm-hmm. as, as we've gotten older, we find the adults is the ones that yes. can't be trusted. Right. Yeah, those conversations and I had a girl in the fifth grade dr- on the school bus pregnant mm-hmm. yeah. so you know what I'm saying granted she should have been in the sixth that's why I asked that like do you have that conversation th- at the first sign of them getting their cycle because I was 10 when I got mine and I was nowhere near ready for that conversation like no don't call me I'm still she just, and she said, and my daughter <laughs> is 12 and she just started but she's been having this conversation it's about the actual it's about the same yeah yeah, yeah because I mean wait till 13 12 13 they already that's too late it's too late, too late. Too late. It is. with the way the world is now the you should have that talk as soon as possible as possible because if you don't they're going to hear it at school somewhere yeah. Yeah. From other people and you may not need, and you may think your kid ain't ready they're, they're ready they're ready, ready. They're they're ready. ready. Cause I even know like my friend, I have a friend who has a friend. They both have kids the same age. And with them going out, them being three-year-old kids, them going out on play dates, the younger girl is showing her private parts to the younger boy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And this is at three. You know what I mean? Is that something that she's picked up from not calling her mama a hoe, but is that something that she's seen her mother? Probably so. Probably someone, so. someone, someone. Her out 
a mom, an aunt, a sister. Who knows? Been something that was left on the TV screen, something that popped up yes. on the tablet. That she's she, seen it. I mean, it's all she's seen it, and whatever she's doing, she's reacting to it. So, yes. and at three, so and you know, with technology nowadays, mm -hmm. we, they can see it everywhere. Reaction, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's kind of just. I think that's, that's that the, the answer to that question for real, Mimi, is as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Shoot, when I was coming up, elementary school, them kids were splashing each other. We ain't had boobies, but they were stay yeah, fresh. Right. Yeah, when I was coming up, like she's 70 years old. <laughs> Back in my day. Elementary, <laughs> <laughs> little boys was rolling their pencil. They, they would throw their pencil under the desk. school flashed each other. Look up on the address. So if they were doing that in the freaking 90s, 80s, right. doing that now plus some. Yes. And imagine right. what they're doing now. Worse, yeah. something worse. Way worse, way worse. So then, so now, you know, speaking of now and how things have progressed, um, it's a twofold question. The first question is, um, how would you feel, you know, about your child or, well, your, your child, male or female, coming home and saying that they had an interest in the same sex, that they were fluid? How would you address that? How do you feel about that? How do you... Am I the one, Ms. Corona? Huh? Right. But I'm saying, how would you, um, like my parents always tell me, I don't have any opinion about what goes on in your bedroom. As long as they're making you happy, cool. When they stop making you happy, if it's a fight that we got to have, that's cool. We're going to have it. <laughs> but as long as they're making you happy, and I guess it's because of the field that I work in, and I see so many kids being ostracized by their families because of who they choose to love and how they choose to love them. I don't think that it's ever that deep to where mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk to my child because he or she likes the same sex. Right. Yeah. They're going to be loved. That's, I'm going to use T and J, for example, um, if that was to ever be a conversation. Because they're they're very open with talking to me about you know a lot. I'm not gonna say everything, um, because you just don't know you know if, you know. Mm -hmm. But they're they're very comfortable with sharing stuff that some kids probably will be embarrassed to you know talk about mm -hmm. with their parents. Um, so, but if they did come to me and say something like that, I'm 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 gonna tell them, give them a, a talk like I gave them if it was somebody of the opposite. Like if just like what, the piggyback on what Mimi was saying, you're happy, I'm happy. Be safe, be responsible. That so time you're not, guys, then we got guys, a problem. Would you well, guys be open to threesomes? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it, it, who said yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Not with not with someone that I've been on the Not with them. Hold on, because I can't hear you. We didn't. We didn't have the ground. We got them broke them there uh, every oh, every time we had. I think I'm that I'm, yes. I'm on the fence about that because I. I don't know. I'm on the fence because I don't want to feel like, damn, am I gay? Because I like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on the fence about it. I am comfortable enough with my partner to have that conversation with him. Right. Um, but I'm also very territorial. Hmm. So I don't want to feel like, all right, you didn't screw me for four minutes. You on your fifth minute with her. <laughs> 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 That's and I also we, don't want her to be like, all right, well, I'm finna eat you out, and then she turn around and open her legs, and I'm just looking at her like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I think you I, say, yep, I can receive, but I'm not giving. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that part, yeah. Yeah, I'm um, not, yeah. I, I, don't, I would I don't consider it, but um, I'm not, I'm not going to be the the carpet muncher. That's not going to be. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I can't say. Not with my husband. I don't think I would do it with someone that I want to be more long term. You know what I mean? Maybe somebody short term, but not somebody that I plan on being with long term. You know, and um, and then like Mimi said, I don't want to feel like, oh, am I gay? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I like not that. Not that anything is wrong yeah. with being gay, but. Right, I think, but I'm, you know. I'm at a point now to where I feel like I know who and what I am. So yeah. at this big age, to find out that I'm going to turn me back to the other question, Lisa. I want to go back to the other questions about the kids coming home saying they like the same sex. Mm -hmm. um, no, I I don't want that for my boys. I have three boys. Um, like I said, I talk to my boys about sex. 
uh, people doing things to them that they don't necessarily like, um, also about homosexuality. That is not something that I would want for my boys. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't love them the same because they're my children, but I talk to them about that. Um, you know, I, and I go into the whole religion thing too, but no, I wouldn't want that for my boys. And yes, I would try to talk them out of it. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same way in that, in that respect. Um, that that's not something that that I, w- I would hope that that's not that wouldn't be the case um but I don't think I could go as far as shunning my kids if that were their choice even going even going down to the spirituality aspect of it mm-hmm. I think even that and this is a whole I'm gonna touch on it and then I'm gonna jump off of it because mm-hmm. that's, we can take the rest of the Zoom uh-huh. with it. we can take up the rest of the zoom with it I feel like it is very important for 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 our children to have their own relationship with God. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. All, you, got, you know what I mean? That is not. I can't. All my all my job. The only thing I've been entrusted to do Don't is do to it. make sure that I plant those seeds and yep. that they Try have a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's all mm-hmm. I can do. After that, that's where I have to put my trust in God and say, okay, if this is what if this is the path that they're choosing to live, and that's with anything they choose to do. Mm-hmm. That's that's between you and God. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. All all I can do is love the life out of you, mm-hmm. and hope that the world don't treat you wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because I already yes. feel like for our for our black boys, they black got a boys. thousand straps on a strikes on a back anyway. Oh, yes. So I wouldn't want yet something else that they would have mm-hmm. to battle through. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But but just because Giovanni, you brought up the spiritual aspect of it, I didn't want to just brush it off. Mm-hmm. I wanted to touch on it. Because I definitely want those who are watching to understand, even like with the, the experiences with the white people. You know what I mean? Not all white people are have, probably have small right. people, white penises. Or, you know what I'm saying? Not, you know, we're not <laughs> white people are racist. We're not all white people are racist. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like when people talk about homosexuality, it gets kind of touchy. And when I said it, I was like, okay, I don't know how this is going to go. But I want the viewers to know that it's not, when it comes to that spirituality thing, even with, with sex, a lot of people are like, oh, the marriage bed is under foul. I rocks with that statement. You know what I mean? You can't judge me for what I do in my bed. With my, I mean, you can't. Like, this yeah. is my bed. So getting off of that, I just want the people to understand that we're all clear. We all love Jesus and we all love God. And we all Amen. 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 Yes. But some of us are okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, but in saying that, you know, because I don't want to get on a tangent about, you know, mm-hmm about jesus yeah I mean, with, the, with that question um i think with you know the children part i think i would cross that bridge when i actually get there i don't think i would really try to handle it now i think when i got to that bridge it would be a conversation that i'm willing to have with my daughter and hopefully she's comfortable enough to be open with me to have that kind of conversation um as far as three sons completely open to it you know let's you know have a conversation but you know like <laughs> It would, I wouldn't want to do things with like, like we have to be a, it, not like a random girl type of thing or whatever, but I wouldn't want it to be someone like a friend, like my best friend. Because again, oh, of course not. Like, that type of thing, you know what I mean? So how do you choose the other girl? girl? Like, do you go to a bar and pick her up? Are you getting on a app or something? Like, how do you choose the girl? Because if he brings me a girl, now I'm thinking, all right, you can. I don't think <laughs> you can. You can. They already messing around. Yeah, I don't think I'm just going out here choosing the girl. Like, hey, I'm going to grab this. So girl. would you go to a swingers club? I've been. Me too. I would go. I've been. I've been. I've been. What is it it's like? <laughs> Tell it's your story. <laughs> Maybe that's gonna be a sidebar, not on the Zoom, baby. Not on the Zoom. That's <laughs> <laughs> me when you get out of here. here, like, I'm just gonna let y'all, I'm just here for no, fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, I got, you, no, it's, right, I got, I got a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, um, would you guys consider being on dating apps? No, I have. You have. have have You have. Does it? Is it okay? No. (laughs) I'm not knocking anybody, but no. And if you ever see my picture up, somebody stole it because I ain't (laughs) know. 
yes, you know, sometimes it's, 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 <laughs> and I only did it because I know people who have met like really nice people in there, great right. people, and they've gotten married. But um, the people that I meet are weird. I did meet one really nice guy. We're we're friends, but the, uh, some people are really weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was bored. I, was- I don't want to get. I don't want to get hooked on somebody liking their personality and then they look funny. I'm just going to be honest. No, yeah, I don't want it. I think yeah. people's personalities are dry on online. Like, they are. Yeah, that's why I say they're weird. Some of them are weird. Yeah, people are dry. They say dry. They say dry. You get a whole bunch of how you doing with what you doing all the time. Like, <laughs> Good morning, beautiful. Like, no real conversation. Hey, I like good morning, beautiful. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I see that. Beautiful. Okay, I see that. That good okay. morning beautiful is always followed with a conversation, though. Yeah. Okay. That's the that's the good part. But when they say good morning beautiful, good morning beautiful every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. I can see how that's creepy. It's just coming from a random. Like, can we just, no. Lisa, can uh, we just put a, a public announcement out? We don't like that. <laughs> You don't unless, like it? Unless you tell us. I don't want every dude. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. I gotta like that's, you. That's the question. You let you my dude. Yeah. You can good morning, beautiful, when I like you. Don't don't let me not like yeah. you. Good morning, beautiful. Then I'm just like, <laughs> you're annoying. Stop, stop it. You're annoying. Stop it. And they don't know that. They need to know that. So men need to know that we don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that queen shit. I don't like that beautiful <laughs> shit. I don't like that. I don't like it. <laughs> but you don't even know me. <laughs> oh, I just met, oh, you just met me. Hey, baby. I am not your baby. Yeah, we, don't do we don't like it. They think that it's a turn. It's not. It's a turn off. Yeah. It's weird. It seems it's like weird. you're trying too hard. It's weird. Is it that or they're just using terms of endearment because they mess up with so many people they can't get the names. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, and they tell is. us, stop with the poetry. And Did I'm going to get it. it. Stop it. I'm finna get one of my brothers in trouble, but for a good six years, he would only date somebody, like he would only date girls that had the same name. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to mix their names up. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's terrible. That's He's terrible. He's terrible. terrible. For so, a good six years, one of my brothers, dating. all of their girlfriends had the same name. <laughs> I can't. It's the same <laughs> so, what are that's my that was my next question. What are some things that you guys and I guess I can I'm gonna go one by one. Kayla, I'm gonna start with you. What is one thing that you you wish guys knew? Like, what is something that we already got the public service and not we don't like the terms of endearment. We don't like the hey beautifuls, hey queen, hey love, hey bae. We don't like none of that. So, what are some other things that collectively we can say that we just don't like that men just don't get we don't like when you text us just text us like all day long and we don't text you back and you still text us as if we're not busy and you still text us the next day and we still didn't text you back and then you text us the next day and we didn't text you back like you should have got the hint the first three days when I didn't text you back like so I just feel like, why not just say, I don't want to be bothered? I don't think that they, I don't think they get the hints, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, why not hint? Why just say, I don't want to be bothered? Yeah. I mean, you're busy. Like if you're busy and you're still blowing me up every day, I mean, cause I have one that's blowing me up every day. I blocked you and you still found a way to hit me up on Instagram and I blocked you on there and you found a way to hit me up on Facebook. Listen, you have been blocked. You have not gotten it yet that I do not want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to get it. He's going to figure it out. He's going to figure it out when he can't, when he can't get you back on the line. He's going he to understand it. Chris, what about you? Uh, what's the question? Something that, we'll do. Something that we wish men knew, like, pertaining to us. Like, I wish they knew that we kind of people with a lot of stuff. All you have to do is verbalize and communicate that stuff. If you ask a question, you may be surprised. You may be on the same freaking level. You just got to ask. A lot of y'all assume stuff, and y'all be like 95% of the time wrong. Uh-huh. Okay. Ask. 
Devana, anybody else? Um, I just wish they knew they can be themselves. Yep. You know yes. what I mean? All this fronting yes. and faking and acting like you're somebody that you're not. Like, it's so elementary. You know what I mean? Like, flashing money around. I can't yeah, stand it. Can't it. With all this money. Like, stop doing that. <laughs> Preach. I don't like the front and the faking. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to piggyback on that one. Because that, that was mine. That was mine. Y'all need to say, listen, fellas. Stop flashing your money and what you got and stop telling me what you have and get yeah. mad at me. Get mad at me when I call your bluff. Thank you don't you. got it like that. Come on now. You don't got it like that. Because I, I have my own, so I ain't no gold digger. But if you flashing and flashing, baby, I'm going to come, come get me me. Don't get mad, though. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Go ahead, BB. I wish that more men, I don't know if I want to say I wish that they knew, but I wish that more men felt that they could be vulnerable. Because Yes, that's a good one. It's And I guess it's just because of who I am as a person. I like vulnerability. Like, trust me with your emotions to know that I'm not going to use that against you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of men grow up being taught not to show emotion not to mm-hmm. show hurt not to show like you have to be this big tough man all of the time and they've been conditioned by that because of how other women have treated them in the past right yes or because of how they've grown up and not all of us are like that a good number of us are because i mean let's just be real people ain't shit but right mm-hmm. everybody ain't like that that's true okay, okay. well i'm just gonna say this I appreciated having this conversation and I appreciated y'all coming on and having it nice and candid and raw and unfiltered and uncut. I can't wait to watch the playback. For those of you watching, I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure that you catch us on Tuesdays at 8 and Fridays at 8 as well. Until the next time we get together, watch those other videos and we will see you on the next go round. Bye. Bye.